So before we go over now to our next Photoshop chapter and talk more about the tools in depth, I want to quickly touch base again just on our workspace here and talk a little bit more about some work panels. We've discussed layers now briefly and you know exactly what's happening in layers, but we haven't talked so much about all the others. They are not so important right now for a beginner to understand everything of this. Layers is the most important, adjustment with properties and navigator and your history plus the character and paragraph box. So let's also quickly talk about this. Say for instance now I have my smart object over here, I make a duplicate of this, after that I go to adjustments, I'll create a new adjustment layer, let's actually take properties out here, I'll take a new adjustment onto that, I go back to adjustments, I add a little bit of color, Okay, and we continue photoshopping for quite a long while. We create a new few groups, then we maybe create a group, then you continue photoshopping again with levels, and you're trying to create a really unique and different type of image. Okay, and at some stage you are not so happy and you want to go a few steps back. Then the history panel comes in really handy, because the history panel here is made up from all the steps from start to finish. So here's all our smart Gaussian blur effect, for the smart filters, then we had new canvases, so you are now able to jump back in the history here from your Photoshop process. So the history is also your friend. Just remember there's only a limited number that you can jump back, I think like 50 or up to 100 steps, then it's not possible anymore. So smart objects also come in handy then with this, like I mentioned in the previous lesson. Again, here you can also jump around and go to the certain steps. You'll see here on the right hand side with our layer, palette, it always changes and we fall back a few more steps. Great, so history is also one of your friends. Adjustments, like I said earlier, is also one of your friends. You can either work from here to have a quicker and more speeded up workflow or again you can go up to layer and do new adjustments over here. You can also use it from down here, that's totally up to you again. For me adjustments is also a friend here. Navigator, if you're not familiar yet with Z, the keyboard shortcut for zoom or in and out, and if this confuses you, you can always use the navigator over here to slide in and out. Then overall, we still have channels. Let's also go back to channels here, again next to the layers palette. There we have our RGB colors. So first of all, you see all the different tones in RGB colors. Again, the blues, we see the greens, we can turn off the blues over here, and red. This is a bit advanced, you might work with this in one or two years if you're more into photoshopping. Paths also, again you can see here from our existing path that we had on the masks, we also talked about this previously in the course here, again over here you have the working path that we've created. But more about that once we get to the pen tool as well and shapes. But paths is also your friend. So again, layers, I normally have adjustments together with navigator, and the properties, and then also here at the top, let's just make this nice, we also have history, again I mentioned this earlier in my whole setup from the workspace, again history is for me active and right in the front, character box to work again with my text, the paragraph the same, and info, we haven't covered info yet. Info, if I hover over here something, I can always see the values, have a look here on the right hand side, if I hover with the mouse somewhere, I always have right away the right color values for anything. This might also come in handy in the future when you're more advanced with Photoshop. So again, for me important, history right up the front, adjustments with properties, and also my layers down here with channels. So yeah, just a small quick lesson again talking about the most important panels and what you can have for the beginning as well when creating your own workspace.